what is up bros and welcome back today we have everything from the strongest glass bottle in siege two crazy spawn peaks on consulate and even the new 30 frames per second purple tarps so let's get right into it and don't forget if you have a trick that you want to share in the next discord tricks video then join my discord server linked down below and i'll see you there up first we have a bunch of tricks from the huge brain of a gaming gamer and we have two parkour tricks but the secret here is going to be putting our frames to lock at 30. this allows us to actually get a pixel or two further when we run for objects because the tips of our toes are going to land to get on the new purple tarps you're going to need to drop down onto the speaker from dj walk straight south or into the wall to make sure you're on top of the speaker look directly top center of where it connects to the wall and then turn around once you're facing north you can then look at the right side of the palm tree about where the light comes through the palm leaves once you have that lineup then just simply sprint onto the top of the cabanas and then switch your frames back to whatever you usually play on from there you can run onto the purple tarp that's connected to the roof and have an angle onto the hookah rotate and behind the hookah counter where defenders like to sit on the hatch it's simply straight up insane and i cannot wait to see what ubisoft thinks of this variation now we've all heard of attack or repick by now right well what if i told you that you could pick even cooler characters than ash and jaeger yeah that's right the new best thing to do in the drone phase is to pick an awesome character like spider-man by playing the amazing mobile game marvel strike force in marvel strike force both superheroes and supervillains are working together to defend earth and you're able to assemble your own powerful custom squad to become even stronger than before you can outfit and upgrade favorite characters pair up specific ones for combos and even go into 5v five battles all while enjoying the groundbreaking gameplay cinematics as your heroes unleash powerful combos with a single tap i liked running a specific combo that everyone can unlock early on and it had my favorite character spider-man who has a basic ability to backflip kick and his special ability called web slinger i was really impressed with this game and to top it all off it has stunning visuals no matter what mission you're on plus it's 100 free to play if you'd like to give it a try then the amazon app store is the best place to download this because of all of the benefits that Amazon provides. Like if you do decide to make an in-app purchase, then you get 20% off and you also get Amazon coins where the more you buy, the more value you get for purchases, and not just in this game, but for many other games too. Go check out Marvel Strike Force via the link in the description. And if you don't have the Amazon app store yet, make sure to download that first. Huge thank you to Scopely and Amazon for sponsoring this video and to you guys for watching. So let's get right into the next trick. Over on Clubhouse is where we're going to find 30 frames per second trick number two, and it's with Ozami. Place a Kiba barrier in the usual spot, which is on top of the electrical outlet box, and then crouch and look southeast. Make sure you're not looking straight south or else you will just vault right over the catwalk. Once you're on top of the railing, melee out the barrier and then do a slow walk into the wall until you feel yourself do a slight drop. Now, as long as you have your game set to 30 frames, you are free to simply sprint onto the shelves in the garage on club. Now we're all done with the 30 frames tricks. So from now on in this video, you can be on any settings that you want. And for this Ozami trick, we're headed to cafe where we can place a barrier at the top of this pillar going up red stairs. Follow the location where you see me do it for the vault prompt and then simply walk up the railing. And once you get to the wall, keep facing the wall. You're gonna slow walk into it and then move to the left. You'll then land on top of the pillar where you can hold angles into piano, pixel, bottom red, or just use it as a hiding spot and do a surprise flank when attackers least expect it. Up next is the updated way on how you can get onto the hanging balls on Emerald Plains. This time we're shooting out the north side of the globe elevating on the top of the chair and then walking on the globe until we reach the max height that we can get. From there, it's just like before, throw a Kiba barrier onto the top ledge and then look about where I do for the vault prompt. Now this vault prompt will vary slightly and it might be pixels different for each of us, but you'll find it if you shake your crosshair where you see me looking. Once you vault over, you can simply look at the right hanging ball, look straight at it, and then you can vault over the ledge and you'll be able to land on top. Bullet holes are currently back with this next trick on coastline and now we can finally kill the player that's been on ruins for 9 minutes through a bullet hole from the counter again. This is one of the rare textures in Siege where there's two layers right on top of each other and since we can get directly on the side of it, we can actually shoot one layer off which leaves the second layer exposed 
which will then take bullet holes. Next up is the easiest insanely strong parkour on coastline because we're going to be able to get an invisible angle onto the hookah bar rotate. If you're solo then you're probably going to need to play Habana or Ace but if you can have a teammate breach open this wall for you you can actually sit up in the parkour spot ready with a sniper or scope to take out any defenders as soon as they're revealed. Quickly moving back over to Emerald Plains, we have a piano parkour to either deny the entry from Terrace or scare the crap out of attackers that have made their way into the music hall. First, you're going to need to shoot out the northwest corner of the white bamboo planter so that you can elevate your character on top of it. Second, you're going to need to shoot out the random items from the top of the piano and once you're on top of the white bamboo planter, you can just run at a southeast angle to get on top of the piano keys and from there it's a simple vault up. You'll then be able to look over the edge and watch the door to see attackers feet all before they can see you. Up next we have three double mirror stack tricks and make sure to at least check out the third one because it's really good and then you'll be able to see the strongest glass bottle in gaming history. Anyways this first one is the updated way to do it because I originally thought that you had to shoot out the floor in order to get yourself lower but you can actually do this by just crouching after you prone on top of the yellow and black cable cover. Do make sure to always place the higher mirror first when you do these double mirror tricks or else it's going to make it much much harder. Once you have your top mirror placed, I found it easiest to crouch and start close to the wall and then while holding the button down you can slowly move backwards. Might take a few tries but once you get the feel for it you're going to be making attackers really confused. The second mirror trick is on Outback and it's the same idea as the first one except this time we're using the light that you'll find laying on the floor in Red Bedroom. We also ended up shooting out the carpet here which seemed to help get our character slightly lower for the second mirror below. The third mirror spot is going to be in the bedroom on club where we find the strongest glass in gaming history because we're going to be stomping all over it after using it to prone stand on top of and get elevated for the top mirror. Once your top mirror is placed you can then thank the glass bottle by putting a bullet in it and then place your second one below. This one is cool because the mattress is actually going to completely block your back and once you have a Jaeger or Wamai to stop all the throwables you'll be really annoying all the attackers that are trying to push through all this next one is a parkour osa spot which can be used for a quiet rush or flank that absolutely no players in siege are expecting right now the first step is to look at the crack in the broken cement block on skylight after you have that lineup you're then going to turn right face south and look at the top right corner of the block that's on the floor you'll then simply pull your osa shield out and place it down notice i only have 20 hp right now which will showcase how nuts this move is because I'm actually going to survive this fall because this drop is only going to cost you 9 HP. You also can mess around with the vault prompt because there is a couple other spots you can look if you want to vault straight up and stay on top of the edge. You're definitely more exposed here, but the trade-off is you do have more angles into other areas. The other downside by doing this is if you drop down, it's actually going to hurt you much more than 9 HP. So you're going to need to get back off onto the roof if you do that. Now I want to quickly share this next one because a gaming gamer found a more efficient way to get onto the villa skylight than what I had showed you before. With this method it's not going to matter if the glass breaks, in fact you'll need the glass to break in order to get the vault prompt. You're going to go on the east side of the skylight and then face south. From there just back up while holding the deploy button and then you're going to get the vault prompt when you crouch and look about where I am. Just make sure you don't fall down here because unfortunately it's not a batman drop that anyone can survive. Now I got a comment about a week ago asking how to do this one on cafe and I promised to quickly throw it in this video but unfortunately somehow Ubisoft was actually able to get a hold of this one and patch it even though my video just came out last week. Me and Gamer are currently looking for a new way to do this but as of right now I didn't see any way to do it anymore so really sorry about that. Now to make up for it though, we have a shield trick that will work for Osa and any shield defender too. Since Ubisoft patched the cafe skylight, we're going to be unpatching the lockers parkour in armory by placing a shield on the south of half wall and then going over to the other side by the chairs for the vault up. From here just break the TV, stand where you see me and then look at the right side of the top horizontal pipe 
in order to get the vault prompt while running at it. From there, you guys got the insanely OP angles that we used to have back a long time ago. They go all the way down the balcony and it's overall just a spot in general that nobody expects anymore. Moving over to Consulate, we have the two spawn peaks that I promised, with the first one being one that would be an instant spawn peak if we could get into position during the prep phase. Since we can't do that, which is a good thing, I actually am not a fan of instant spawn peaks. I believe that attackers should be able to take a step, and then if they do take a step and die, then it's their fault. So this is more of a public announcement to don't sit on your drone here, because this pixel exists where if you walk into the southwest corner of the balcony light, you can see the top of the heads of attackers spawning in on Riot Barricade. The second spawn peak is one that is more practical and common. From Visa Office, you can get an early angle on the four heads of attackers turning the corner of their spawn and kill them through the bus glass. I see a lot of people making the mistake of going here and then holding an angle on the front of the bus, so you should definitely try it this way instead, and if you don't see anyone within like two or three seconds, then dig out. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today, so now go spawn peek someone and tell them that I sent you.